this is the uh, analogy that uh, a cable, a stretched cable, is the bending moment diagram for a beam. One of the most elegant ways to think about the bending moment diagram for a beam is to consider the beam not to be a beam at all, but to be a stretched ribbon or, or a stretched cable. So for instance, in a situation like this, we have a beam which is supported at two points and has and carries a uniform distributed load. Let's not think of it as a beam. Let's think of it instead as a stretched cable between two points. So let's start with that. And I'm going to call this the bending moment diagram to start with because that's what it will end up being. If we have a stretched cable between two points and we load it in the way that it's shown, I'm holding these two points at the end and I'm stretching them apart so that it's nice and straight to start with, and we load it in this way, fundamentally the cable will move into the shape of a parabola because of the spread load. But at these two points and on its length, it's going to be pushed back up because of these two support reactions. So what we're going to end up with is we're going to end up with a shape which is, of course, the bending moment diagram for the beam. Now, how do I know that this is true? Well, if I take a cut at any point, say there, in, the, uh, in, in what would be the cable, if this were the deflected shape of the cable rather than the beam, if this were the deflected shape of the cable, which was acting under these loads, if I took a cut at that point and redrew just this little piece over here, so I redraw that, then at the cut, we will have some downward force and we will have some horizontal force. Now, the downward force is the shear force at any point along the length of the cable, and therefore it is the shear force at any point along the length of the real beam. The, the horizontal component of the force at this cut is a constant. I refer you to um, uh, other videos which we have, um, which help you to, to work out what the forces are in a cable structure. But for the time being, you need to recall that along any cable which carries no other horizontal loads, if it's only held at its ends, the horizontal component of the force at any cut is a constant. And therefore, at this point, we have a constant horizontal force. And if I take that constant horizontal force and multiply it by the offset to the original datum, I will get a bending moment about that datum. And therefore, if the shape of the, of the cable is is known, and we know that at every point the horizontal force is a constant, then that shape of the cable is the shape of the bending moment diagram. And therefore, a very easy way to think about how to draw a bending moment diagram is to think of the beam as a stretched cable.